You're in some deep water, Harold. Like bankruptcy, dude. Damn, cash poor? No, I'm saying you're poor poor. I feel very lucky to have the cast I had. You know, the first person I sent it to was Charlize, and, and then, uh, you know, obviously I wanted my brother to be involved in it, and, you know, and then I had Amanda Seyfried, and then I met David. You know, what was amazing about them is they, you know, beyond their individual talents, they all just clicked really well and they played together really well and it was it was really enjoyable to see them work together. Harold! Tomorrow you're gonna fly to Mexico. What? We want you to hand deliver the weed pill formula. I weirdly just called him up and I said I'd love to meet you and he really wasn't sure what he was gonna do next or anything like that. And I said we should really try and find something and this was 15 years ago. Mm. So it, it took us a good amount of time to find a project that we both responded to and I think it says a lot about this material. It was very unique and I think both of us really responded to that. And I was just really eager to make something with him because I, I do think he's just such a unique voice in our industry right now. And, I think that's what we're always searching for in a director, somebody that kind of like brings something new to the table. Buenos dias. I know I'm not supposed to touch the minibar, but I'm going to do it. You know, I don't even care anymore. I'm doing it, I'm having the money. It was a complete delight to do something a bit lighter um, and, and something that was also challenging in a different way because <clears throat> there's a misconception that, you know, uh, Comedy, as opposed to more dramatic work, is 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 easier or, or, or not as testing as it comes to you know whatever talents you have. Allow me to introduce our co-presidents, Mr. Rusk and Miss Mackinson. Yep. Yeah, hola. Yes, sir. Permítame presentarle nuestros residentes, señor Rusk y su mocasín. New app, amazing. You know what else is amazing is actually learning a foreign language. Quiero Taco Bell, huh? I found this to be a, a wonderful challenge, not least because it had comedic elements, but because it has elements of action. It has drama to it, you know, with the way we did it, there's a social commentary element as well. And so all of those things, you have to really strike a balance tonally. And that was something Nash was very aware of, but every actor has to buy into the same tone, otherwise the film is gonna fray with different uh, approaches. And so that was something that was uh, also a wonderful challenge and, and, and something I really relished. What's going on? I've been kidnapped! I am somewhere in Mexico with a gun to my head. Ah! What a crybaby! Nash is uh, a wonderful collaborator in the sense that he really lets you go with the character. But for me it was it was a real pleasure because you don't get a huge amount of opportunity on movies to improvise and Nash really let myself and David uh, do a lot of that in the scenes that we had together and um, it's a it's it's uh, it's a real blessing for for an actor to get somebody who who trusts you to to run with a role. What is that? It's an injectable microchip. Okay. I need to keep dragging. I don't like needles. Give me a I think audiences can expect a really fun, unexpected ride with twists and turns and wonderful performances from actors you know but aren't expecting to see the kind of performances they're giving. Hello, 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 Dumari. Please, God, save me from this man. You really believe in God? Of course I believe in God. What kind of person does not believe in God? I guess I kind of do, but... Ah!